and welcome to the Beck & Co. Show. I am Joanna Beck. I'm Michael Beck. We are so glad that you're here. So today we wanted to discuss, um, you know, does God call and assign everyone to fivefold ministry? Because, you know, we see a lot of this with, you know, prophets popping up everywhere. Apostles. Apostles. Everyone has Everybody to be Everybody wants teacher, to be a pastor. Evangelist. Mm -hmm. And so this is... God assigns specific people to those offices. You can never be called by man to that office. So if man tells you this is what you are, unless God speaks it to you himself, that's not what you are. You have to be called by God himself. Man can confirm it, but you have to hear the call from God first. So, um, you know, he has these different things assigned. He has, you know, some of us apostles, some of us prophets, some of us teachers, some of us pastors, some of us evangelists, but everybody gets stuck on that that's the most important part. Like you have to be part of fivefold to be in, to be important and, and to do something impactful for the kingdom. And that's not true. So serving yeah. is the most important important sir being a servant which we are all to be even so, as so. fivefold we are all still to serve jesus tells us this in scripture but if we were all apostles prophets teachers preachers you know all the the fivefold if we were all that who would be left to serve that's right yep and i know you you're kind of serving you know those people but like to physically be serving during that time, you know, an example of this would be Acts six. You have like you know, everyone knows Stephen as he was the he was a martyr, and you know Paul, you know, like was there, and, and that's what eventually you know like, say like led Paul to or for Jesus to be like like Paul, why are you persecuting me? But uh, but everyone doesn't realize that Stephen was called to be a servant to serve the apostles. When you read in, in Acts 6, you know, the, the disciples are like, hey, like, you know, like, we need to devote ourselves full time to prayer and to these, these, these other matters. And then so they were like, hey, we're going to choose seven people who have the Holy Spirit, who have this wisdom. And so, and so we're going to appoint them mm -hmm. over this business of serving tables. That's what, that's what they, you know, so that way... When all the apostles come in like these, they weren't taking their selves away from prayer mm -hmm. and time with God and the word. Because ministering the word to all these people to help grow. So you have to have people around you to help serve. Mm -hmm. And so Stephen and several others, they became those people who were assigned. Mm -hmm. And it's, a, it's an honor yeah. to, to be able to serve because not only did they serve the apostles, these servants from the Lord... But they were able to serve and help. But, and you think about this. When you read that entire thing, it was when the disciples were able to devote themselves to prayer. And then these other people were assigned to serve. It said then they multiplied. Mm -hmm. So here you have them working very fluidly as a team. Some who were, they were in their own divine calling. They were in the perfect will of God by having these people. And then these people help serve. And then look, there was growth, there was multiplication, mm -hmm. and God added to their church, added to the disciples. Mm -hmm. So don't get caught up on needing to be a fivefold officer. You can impact the kingdom exactly where you are. You can mm -hmm. impact the kingdom by serving. You know, before God even spoke to me and told me that I was an apostle, I served in children's ministry. I taught Bible study in nursing homes. I served because it was God. I was actually being tested in the time of, can you serve the least of these for me? The ones that can't get themselves to church. Can you serve the ones that, that, that still need to be fed and their diapers changed? Can you serve the ones that, that are in wheelchairs and and don't even remember their name will you still preach to their spirit will you still love on them so we can serve 
in the body of Christ and not be a fivefold officer. So don't let that be your focus. Let your focus be serving. Who can you serve? Who can you help? Whether it's you're serving an apostle or a prophet or a pal, you're serving in a pastor, you know, in a church, or are you just serving your family? You'd be surprised how many people say, hey, like, I am, I enjoy serving. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I want to serve. Like, there's people out there who have a servant heart. Mm -hmm. And so that they, that's where they get their enjoyment. And that's when you know that's the calling you're supposed to be in is to serve because you get this joy, this happiness of, like, this sense of fulfillment. Mm -hmm. And that's what it is when you're in the perfect will of God is, ah, I just, I feel like you feel amazing that's, not only are you getting to help this, this, this uh, same ministry, mm -hmm. you know, this prophet, whoever's in this fivefold, but you're helping show God's love to the people that they are trying to minister to mm -hmm. as well. So don't get hung up on a title because with that title comes a lot of warfare that people are wondering, why, why am I in so much warfare? Because they're claiming titles that they're not supposed to be claiming. So concentrate on serving serve the kingdom of God, serve exactly where you are. Pray and ask the Lord, Lord, who do you want me to serve? Who do you want me to serve under? What ministry do you want me to serve under? Who do you want me to help, Father? Whether it is with your tithe, with your partnership and sewing, whether it is with your time, whether it is with your skills, we can serve in all different ways. Mm -hmm. It's not just we have to physically be there. Sometimes just you... Resharing things, like yeah, resharing what's put yeah. out, all different ways. Your time, your energy, your talents, your finances are all extensions of who you are. Of serving, of, of, mm -hmm. they're extensions of serving, mm -hmm. and so there's many different ways to serve. Amen. All right. Well, we pray, pray that this has blessed you. We love you. Make sure you like and subscribe, and we look forward to seeing you tomorrow. God bless you.